Hi, this is Sumit K. Welcome to my channel. Um, in my last video, uh, we have uh, implemented some Cloud VPC firewall rules, uh, and um, but we have not covered uh, uh, you know Cloud VPC firewall rule uh, with service account. So in this video, we will see how we how you can use uh, uh, service account uh, to control your traffic. So if you remember, in my last video, uh, we have deployed a couple of uh, uh, firewall rules and those firewall rules are basically uh, deployed in two, two, two methods the first method was all instance in network and second second method was uh, using the tags so in this uh, in this diagram you can see that um, uh, your web server is accessible over the internet um, and uh, it is allowed in the cloud firewall rule uh, this this first firewall rule and then we have also seen uh, allow connectivity between these two vm in two different subnet using the tags so we updated uh, the uh, network tags this is my icmp network tags and then we you know created a, a firewall rule this is my firewall rule using the ne the network tag and then the communication is has been established so as you know that uh, cloud firewall rule is basically a global a global resource a global service so that's why it is always applied on to the vpc level but you can control your vm or or uh, or subnet level traffic uh, using the firewall rule so let's see uh, let's first understand um, what is uh, 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 like how do you implement vpc firewall rule with service account so the first point is uh, basically uh, a firewall rule a support uh, source and target filtering by service account or network tags as you can see that right so a network tag basically is an arbitrary attribute right which means uh, one or more network tags can be associated with an instance by an by any im member who has a permission to edit it so let's say if an IAM member with the compute engine instance admin role uh, to a project uh, with uh, having this having this permission can edit an instance and can change its network tags. So right, so which could lead the overall uh, you know set of application firewall firewall rules uh, right uh, uh, to be impacted. So that's why if if I have a compute instance admin role, I'll go and you know change the change. Uh, the tag and the connectivity will be broken right so uh, you should use a service account instead of network ta tags for strict control um, over how firewall rules are applied to the vms right because network tags can be inferred while while uh, service accounts would require access to it as well right so basically when you create a vm you you know the, the default service out accounts are attached if you and that default service account cannot be removed until unless you power or shut down this vm so uh, unlike icm unlike the network tags where you can easily remove the tags but service account cannot be removed it needs a strict you know uh, you you need to have a uh, permissions to you know change this all uh, change the service account and the service account can be controlled by the iim int and access management fourth point is very important like service account and network tags cannot be mixed um, in any any firewall rule so you cannot mix it so uh, let's see uh, okay uh, do you so uh, what is service account basically so you know that uh, service account if you go to identity and access management and in the service account you create a service account service account is represent a google cloud service identity and it is responsible for running the running your compute engine or app engine or or any system which is running running inside or outside of the google cloud right and uh, one more thing the, the, that access to the service account can be controlled by controlling the um, grant of service account user role for other im members right so let's say for an IAM member to start an instance by using a service account that member must have the service account user role to at least use the service account and appropriate permission to create the instance 
right so you know that service account used by the application not by the humans very less but uh, yeah obviously when application needs to talk to another application then we use the uh, service account in most of the cases right so we can control this okay so whatever uh, uh, firewall that we have seen those firewall are basically uh, ip based firewall right because uh, you create a ip like source ip and all this but in, when you create a when when you create a firewall using the service account we don't need it uh, we'll, we'll see that okay uh, so without wasting a, a time let's jump on to the demo okay let's go to my i already have uh, two vms running okay these two vms from my uh, last video right you just uh, power it on I'll show you why you know network tags can be easily inferred, right? How can the network is easily easily modified? So my VM one and VM two has been um, up now, and already as per the uh, I already have a cloud firewall rule which allows it to let's let's quickly test it. Okay, so my both of my VM one VM two, I I can log in now. Let's see their internal IP address, and let's see. Okay, so ten dot two fifty five dot one ninety eight dot two, and uh, VM one IP is ten dot two fifty five one ninety two dot two. So let's ping ten. Dot two fifty VM two one ninety eight dot two. Yes, can ping right. This ping VM one. So you can see that both the VMs can talk to each other, right? Now what I have said. That uh, network tag can be easily modified, can be easily inferred, right? And you'll see the live example here. If you go to, you know, VM, uh, let's say VM2, anyone having this uh, basic uh, role and permission, go to edit and let's remove this ICMP and save this. You will see that. Uh, the connectivity has been broken. You can see that VM1 cannot ping VM2. However, VM2 can ping VM1. Let's see again. See? And that's where we should use service account. So, just minimize them. Now we will do one thing. Uh, we will use the existing firewall rule uh, we have this firewall rule and we'll set up using the service account so if you see here uh, in vm2 you have this default service account right this is a service account uh, that was used to deploy this machine and uh, Basically, this is a service account that VM can talk to another uh, service or API and go to VM1. 
so here also i think you'll see the same service so, the, so both vms are having the same uh, similar service account so we will now deploy a cloud firewall rule using the service account so go to your vpc1 so in this vpc go to cloud firewall and uh, so basically what we are going to do we are going to modify the existing firewall rule instead of creating a new one we are just modifying this, uh, this existing firewall rule okay and in this firewall rule uh, you need to just edit it so previously uh, it was it was uh, uh, set using the target tax now we are gonna change it to service account so service account scope in this project you can create another project as well if you want to uh, change the scope but i'll just leave it uh, this this project so i'll select default service account because my vm was deployed using the default service account okay source filter you need to select service account and the source service account is going to be your default service account right your target is default service account your source is uh, default service account so i just you know i updated it this diagram default service account source and destination source and destination so 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 uh, we have updated it right and the the uh, protocol that i want to lie is only the icmp just save it it's pretty simple right i have seen um, uh, most of the videos that uh, cloud that cloud firewall using the service account uh, is not covered uh, right so this is uh, this video is is uh, going to give you a, a good information around uh, this firewall rule uh, i think this is done let's check my so you can see that my i'm you know my uh, vm1 is able to ping vm2 earlier it was not required because we have we had removed the tag you can see vm1 can ping vm2 and vm2 was already uh, you know um, sending the request to vm1 so that's that's how you can see that you know both the vms can talk to each other using the service account method so even if you go and remove the tax on vm1 it doesn't uh, you know affect anything so let's quickly do that if you want to check go to edit and remove this save So you can see that no there is no effect because i have changed the firewall rule um, using the service account so now they are securely talking to each other all right uh, that's it for this video that i wanted to show how service account uh, uh, works in real world uh, like if you have uh, you know let's assume that this is your app subnet this is your db subnet right and uh, your uh, db in db subnet you have uh, a sql server or any sort of database servers are running and in your app subnet your application is running so your app needs to talk to your database server right so obviously you need to uh, open some firewall rule so that your app engine or your app machine can connect to your database server on some ports so let's see this port is 3306 so using the service account you can allow the connectivity from your uh, vm1 to the vm2 i mean from app from your app to your, to your database subnet using the uh, default service account now if you if you use the tags anyone having this im role or basic permission can simply you know edit this vm and or your database server and remove this uh, tag or maybe someone can accidentally remove this tag then what happened your application will go down right so you you never want to you never want your application to go down just because of this firewall or this uh, you know silly mistake so default service account 
uh, you know um, is the is the right approach um, in this in this scenario right so you you cannot uh, you cannot remove this service account uh, if you want to you know uh, click on edit because you need to shut down this machine and then you would be able to um, you know um, remove this uh, service account and you should have appropriate roles and permission to do that so that is the benefit of uh, using the service account um, hope i hope this video has been helpful for you uh, uh, if you like this video uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, share it with the others thank you bye bye